Most people in America are familiar with the art of writing. We know about the art of writing because many books go to movies and many television films come out of theater. And we also know that there are commercials that are written for our edutainment. That is precisely what a commercial does. In the aspect of small business across America, we openly have what we call a 60 second commercial. That 60 second commercial is typically how we introduce ourselves in a networking event or in a business entrepreneurship type of situation and we introduce ourselves. we introduce what we do for a living we introduce how we serve people and we introduce what we're going to be giving to people through that service that has a certain number of words to create totally 60 seconds and that is the goal we do know that we have people who are not prepared for being an entrepreneur and not pre prepared for networking events and they come become so unprepared and so obvious to people that people will literally roll their eyes and go oh god here we go because the person doesn't know how to ad-lib quickly about who they are and what they do and how they serve people, which is pretty much a three-question three answered thing that if you do that, you'll be fine. But then we have people who wax on and take other people's time, and most people hate that. There are types of two- and three-minute programs that companies disseminate to help to educate their current clients or inform potential clients about what they do and how they do it. There is an actual marketing formula for that. There is also a marketing formula for writing an entertaining presentation for fifth that you take up and you present in a group setting, selling one to the many, where it's a 15 minute opportunity. And then five minutes after that are typically allowed for answering questions. And that is usually within a 16 minute period of time, which is what usually networking events that are weekly take up other type events might be an hour and a half or two hours and then seminars and workshops they too have a certain amount of words that are required and thought processes that are desired to make a great workshop that doesn't die and fizzle